Hello and welcome to at Legoland California. We're about to take a look around the amazing Lego factories. We're going to take a full tour on the inside. Now, there's lots and lots of different bits and pieces to have a look at. We've got all of the older Lego models that used to be around the Legoland park. We've got some history of all the different Legolands. And of course, we also have how the brick is produced as well. Now, we have seen this in Dubai and it is completely different. We've also seen the brick molding machine in Billund. That also looks fantastic. And I have seen it myself in Germany as well, but I've yet to film it. So I need to get over to that park so we can do a full-blown comparison of all of them but i think this by far is the best walkthrough attraction just because of the volume of different lego models that are on show and obviously all of the different processes that you're about to see with regards to the brick all the different wheels and all of the other little different bits and pieces as well so the tour itself starts in front of the tv tour so you can sit yourself down and you can see give you a tour of the actual factory itself you then walk through and you go into the molding department now the molding department is obviously where the brick molding machine is this is the same machine that they have in billings so it'd be the bright green one you can actually buy as a Lego exclusive. Now, all of the writing around the outside that we're having a look at slowly, I have taken a screenshot of, and then we'll have a look at it right at the very, very end, so you'll be able to read the whole thing. So I've got 10 seconds of each picture at the very, very end, so we can read all of it. So there's lots of did you knows, lots of facts and figures about everything. It tells you the full history of the brick how many of them there are, and so on and so forth like that. So it's really, really interesting to read. But this is the one of the easy ones to read, so I can quickly do that. It says an average of 10 billion per year, or about 2.5 million an hour. That is a scary, scary fact of the amount of bricks that are produced. Now, they have a lot of these models. And if you know where these models used to be located in the park, like I said, all of these have been pulled out of Legoland, California. If you recognize where they used to be, then please let me know in the comment section below because I've learned a lot of history about this park already within this series from the comment section. So I'd love to know if you guys and girls can recognize anything that is in there. So this machine is running, it is working, so you can see it is doing its thing in the background and it is kind of spitting all the bricks out and about and doing all the bits and bobs like that. But in the background, there's lots and lots of models to have a look at. So you can see you've got the Lego symbol, you've got the tomato soup, and then you've got lots of other little bits and pieces a head up there and then you've got that sort of um there's a what was it movers vehicle and then the thing on the left hand side and then you've obviously got the, the bigger ones are easy enough to see they're directly in front of us you've got the big panda having a having a sort of a play fight and then you've got the apple and other bits and pieces like that as well now i couldn't zoom in on those but if you recognize any of them then please let us know and there's shelves located all over the place with regards to all of the different models that used to be in the uh, actual legoland miniland as well so you can see the legoland california retired miniland models and they've got all of these people dotted about so they would have been different scenes for different areas and they would have had the different buildings and things you obviously can see the benches and other bits and pieces like that now they are dotted everywhere they end up being put in all sorts of different shelves in every single room so we'll be having a look at all of those and like i said all the did you knows will be paused at the very very end so we will be moving on to the printing department next you can actually see how they print onto the brick as we pan around slowly all of the other lego characters that used to be obviously in the mini land so there would have been some amazing dioramas with those and then as we pan around and down i do believe we have one of the uh, actual molding units itself which we'll be having a look at very very shortly that produced a huge amount of number before it got retired now i've not actually seen one this close before but i have seen one under like a plexiglass flooring at the lego house in billund and yes that is a rather large horse with a what looks like a police officer sat on the saddle and then as we're panning down you can see here the so it's the injection mold is what we're about to have a look at and you can see about all the bits and pieces and in a second it will show us exactly how many things it produced so it says a retired lego mold retiring after making 120 million lego bricks that is a scary amount of lego bricks from the one mold so just think how many a day that thing is going to be producing just from the one mold like i said what they normally do is they tend to put the molds underneath um, Lego buildings. So a lot of them are in concrete underneath the Lego house, I do believe. And they did keep one or two of them on show downstairs in the basement in the History Museum, which does look very, very impressive indeed. Now, this is obviously the machine that we've just had a look at. It's a really nice slow walkthrough attraction. Luckily, I was the only person in here for a huge amount of time. And then when other people started to catch up, I just turned the camera on and then just carried on with it as well because the weather was perfect. And I went at the perfect time because the kids had yet to split up. So I think I said this in one of the other videos. It was a much, much older demographic of older couples walking around. And they definitely have a lot of things for sort of the a folds around this Legoland California. And even the staff are glad that they have lots of different walkthrough attractions as well. Now, look at the size of 
the trains that they run on those tracks. It kind of puts in perspective now just how large these things are. Now, obviously, they need to be oversized for you to be able to see it in the Miniland. There is a full Miniland video going to be available in this playlist or already uploaded it, depending on watching when you're watching this video. And they do have a lot of animatronics all around the tracks. And everything was working super, super clean and smooth. The park was really clean. And obviously, everything in this sort of walkthrough attraction as well was working nicely. But you can see you've got all the different cars. You've got some beautiful looking trains. You've got the, the stalls. You can see the signs. There's a lot to soak in and take in. If you need to pause it for whatever reason, and then obviously do so. But you can see you've got look like the junction box there. You've got the lights. So it would have been a really nice thing to see these shooting around the track. But I did say they were dotted absolutely everywhere. They put it all up in the roof bit. They've hung them all up. They stood them on everything. Now, I think potentially at one point there used to be something running around those tracks maybe because at the very very start there was some boxes and i think maybe what they're doing instead is they're just adding more and more lego models on there but i think maybe at one point there used to be something running around the track so if that is true then obviously please do let me know or it might not have just been turned on on that day because obviously it is a quiet time as such that so not everything might have been turned on so if you are a local then obviously please do let me know because this is not my local park but it was uh, nice to see one of the old i say old it looks brand spanky new but one of the older characters for friends obviously linked in with some of the what looks like a different pirates so obviously they've updated some of the pirate models at some point all of the new Lego Friend models are now in that section. So I, I do believe there used to be a Heart Lake City there. Now, the Heart Lake City got pulled out and it has been replaced by the Lego Movie 2 section. And before it used to be a Heart Lake City, I do believe it used to be a Duplo section. Now, I've learned all of this from the comment section and people tagging me in different videos. So I love learning about different histories of the park. You can see you've got snakes, you've got ducks, you've got horses, you've got turtles, you've got all sorts of different bits and pieces. You've got a cheeky monkey down there somewhere as well. And then you can see all of the other models that are located up at the top. And you've got all the trunking and everything for all the wiring up there as well. And you can see loads of benches, all the other bits and pieces. You've got the big dragon at the back. That looks like a very, very impressive model. That would have had to have been around where the castle was at some point, I'm sure. And obviously, they, they chop and change them all the time. See, some of these did not look weathered at all. So I don't know if they just built them for this tour or they build more than one of them and they didn't have the space for it, or because the park is always changing and each area seemed to have different bits and pieces taken away and then there's room for expansion. So I don't know if some of these are going to make a return to the park, but there were so many models in the park. I'm surprised that there's so many models here as well. But this is a slowed down version of the actual print itself. Now the machine was working a little bit quicker than what we're looking at now, because you can see how it what goes on. So they add the white in and then it goes down. So I could not find where you got this brick from. I don't know if you were able to get the brick from it because in um, Dubai, you could actually get yourself a brick because normally they spit them out or they have them somewhere at the end of the tour. I just couldn't see it. So I would have liked to have taken one home with me, but maybe they're not to take back with you. Um, so again, if they're supposed to be, and I've been very, very stupid. It would not surprise me whatsoever, but more than likely I have been stupid because I thought they would have dropped them into a bag somewhere because I think this is the bricks that you would get given because because that was obviously a proper printing process, I think. So that is what I think. But again, I could be massively wrong. So that's a better look at the dragon. That's all the better look at the di different bits and pieces on the back wall. Like I said, there's loads and loads of models. You've got all these little computers that you can do different bits and pieces with as well, which is always a nice looking thing to have a look at and see. You've got more bits up on that shelf. And then we are going into the assembly department next, which again, lots of different models to have a look at. And there's some surprisingly larger bits and pieces in here as well. Now we do see how they actually end up putting all the wheels together. And obviously there's fun facts about all the wheels and things like that, which like I said, we will be having a longer read of. Now I think the pirate one, obviously the bird must be from the pirates. That's a Shima head. So that potentially could have been used or is going to be used in the water park. I would imagine maybe that they didn't have a Shima land here because they did have a Shima section or Chima, however you pronounce it, is over in Legoland, Florida. Then they ripped that land out to replace it with the Lego Movie 2 section. So over at Legoland Windsor, we did not get the Lego Movie 2 or the Lego World, shall I say, or the Lego Movie World uh, theme park, part of the theme park. We got actually Mythica instead. So it'd be interesting to see if now they've ticked all the boxes for the Movie World, 
what area is going to get a Mythica section of the park. And I don't know how long they have to keep the movie world bits and pieces up and running, but they do take up a huge amount of square footage. It'd be very, very interesting if they ever get replaced at some point. And if they do, what they're going to put there instead, because the one in Florida and the one in California, they are both big areas. So you can see this shooting around. You can see how that puts the wheels on. And it's just a nice slowed down demonstration of what is going on. And then you can see all of these models up top. Again, just larger vehicles, larger different bits and pieces. I'm actually surprised by how big the vehicles are up close. They are a, a much larger size than what I thought they were. I knew the figures were big, but I didn't realize how big the actual cars were. But it all makes sense because it is all in proportion. Now you've got these cool little things dotted around. This is a massive... I don't actually know what theme this is from. I'm potentially want to go to the bionicle but i'm not a hundred percent committed to it it could well be it might be one of the earlier bionicle models maybe but if it was that's the first time i've seen one of those and again you can see by this potentially that this would have been in the water park section because obviously that area is open i'm still i'm quite surprised actually it's still called that because they did pull that out in um florida a good while back and they haven't done anything with that theme for a good good while but obviously the water park was closed so i don't actually know how heavy they've gone with all the theming because if it's absolutely ramsacked like the actual theme park it is as well it will cost far too much money just to replace all the models for absolutely no reason because i think those models do look really smart and i think they've only got one of those models at Legoland Billund and that is hidden in the Burger Star calf. I don't think they've got them at Legoland Windsor at all so it's very very interesting to see what part gets what and you can see you've got all the big heads and the busts at the back and then as we're panning down you have what looks like to be the wizard's hat on a telephone box with a chef cooking a pizza so I'm assuming the chef is obviously from one of the restaurants so it could be something from absolutely anywhere the, this park, I think, I'm getting, I'm, you kind of have to correct me if I'm wrong, is hitting its 25th anniversary in 2024. So I think that is correct. So it's a amazing looking thing. It's been around a good while. We'll get the date of when the park actually opened at the end of this tour. And we can actually see all of the other parks as well. So there is actually a park map of every theme park located around the world. So it'll be interesting to see. But in the back, you can see just at the top, you've got some boxes in like the red grill and grate on that track. So I don't know if that track is working or if it's not been working, but you can see those boats there. They did look pretty cool. So they would be the boats that you put um, a dollar in or a pound in over in the UK. And then you can just go racing around and do some little different bits and pieces with that so they they survive nicely but you can see how they're weathered and you've got carl's bad that is where the park is located and again you've got the nice um dog with another ollie so that's ollie the dragon the green dragon now this i do believe is just a um interpretation or could be almost exact of the um obviously the factory itself so you can see all the different bits and pieces this is really really nice thing to see and you can see the first human beings in the background so they've just caught me up as i get right to the very very end of this tour and then we'll come back on ourselves and we are going to be looking at the rebuild the world shop as well i say rebuild the world shop the rebuild the world area where you can play with different bits and pieces and build stuff up and we do i think potentially have a look at the red coaster and the loop coaster in this upload as well but i'm saying that and i can't remember what's going to be added to the end of this video now as it as it comes through you can see you've got all the green there with the big um obviously the machines and i think as we pan round and go up there is a lego masters model which i think is a peacock so we'll be having a look at that as well so that was just hidden randomly up there which i do believe was shown on one of the series is of the lego masters over in the states so if you do recognize this or if for whatever reason you stumbled across this channel completely by mistake and you were the actual designer of that then get in the comment section and let us know but it does look sensational it looks very very good indeed you can see just how much detail is involved in that now i've been very very lucky that i've seen a lot of these dotted all around um in billand and there might have been one in windsor as well but they tend to get them in billing quite a lot they add them into the park or they do add them into the lego house but obviously that is the billing variation not the american variation so we have got here it's in 1968 legoland billing so this is the first park and that is what that park looked like i do believe in 1968 from there i think this is going to be am i balling that is that windsor could well be windsor i think that's where the cash is yep so march 29 1996 then the next park, you can see every single layout is always completely different. You have got Legoland Germany, 
20, uh, 17th of May 2002. I've got to get back to that park. That park is incredible. So Legoland, California, where I am now, that was, I think that said 99. 98 or 99. I moved a little bit too quick on that one and I was about to cough. So you might have to go back and let me know with that one. Then this is Malaysia, opened up in 2012. This is on my list. So all of those that we've seen so far, I've seen Malaysia, I've not yet been to. I do want to get my teeth sunk into that park because I think it looks brilliant. You can see those uh, red Lego bricks that are dotted up on there. They're obviously the prints. Then you've got the next park just up on there, which is the Legoland Florida, which I've been to. That is a very, very big park as well. There's a lot going on with that one. Then with this one, it also looks enormous. You've got the big water park on the left-hand side, but that is actually Legoland Dubai. So that is a bit deceiving because the park itself is two separate things. Whereas this one, it looks the same size as Dubai, but that's Legoland Japan. But it's hard. You you got to take Dubai with a pinch of salt. It's a very very nice park, but it is not the biggest because the water park is absolutely massive. And you can see there you've got Korea, which is the newer one that has opened up. And then you've got New York as well, which opened up in 2021. That looks huge. That looks like they've got loads of space to open up within that. That is somewhere else that I'd like to try and get to at some point. I am very, very tempted to do Florida and New York on the same trip and just fly between sort of um, state to state. And depending on the cost, I could always come back to the LM where I am now. So I'm about to say LAX. So I'll be landing in LAX and then come revisiting this theme park. But models dotted all around the outside. You can see what these look like with Emmett and everything like that. And that's actually where that finishes. So I've talked absolutely nonsense. We are about to move on to all of the different all the screenshots that I took as we walked around. So did you know in 1932, the village of Billen, Denmark and Master Carpet and joiner of the name of Ollie Kirk Christensen started a company to manufacture step ladders, ironing boards and wooden toys. So that's how it all started. It started off with wood and it moved on to the Lego brick. From there, we've got the key features of the Lego brick throughout the history is what the first and foremost part of the system, which each new series releasing compatible with the rest of the system so it just keeps going so you can just click them together again we've read this one annual production of lego bricks averages 10 billion per year or 2.5 million per hour just pause it if you need to each one's on the screen just for 10 seconds now did you know during the molding process the abs is heat to 450 degrees fahrenheit to give it the consistency of bread dough the mold then pressed together between 25 and 150 tons of pressure depending on the element being produced from here in 1963 the abs plastic uh, manufactured from abs plastic in 1960 three shaped with moments over 40 colors later still nearly interlocked with manufacturers today so all the way over that time frame is absolutely insane then you can see this one the injection molds are equipped with sensors that detect it. so we've already kind of read over that one so but again pause if you need to and then the next one is the actual dimension so eight stud lego brick it measures at 9.6 by 32 by 16 mil and there are 102 million 981,500 thousand different ways to combine six different lego bricks also over three million three hundred million children have owned lego sets since they were first made you're one of 68 million kids from around the world who like to play with lego bricks so again it's just scary numbers the first lego wheel were invented including sets in 1961 the lego system of play introduced 50 sets and 15 vehicles they were also sold they had been since in 1955 and this is the last fact. An estimated 400 million children and adults all over the world have played with Lego bricks. It's estimated that kids around the world spend almost 5 billion hours per year playing with Lego toys. So that's the fact. Completely done and finished. What I'm going to do now as I do the outro is add in just a little sneaky peek of what that rebuild the world is. Because they do have this in Billund and they've obviously got this in Windsor as well. But as I've clearly completely run out of time, if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. In the comments below, let me know what you think of this factory tour and how how does it compare to your local Legoland factory tour? Now, Windsor, as it stands, still don't have this tour, which is a real shame. So hopefully one day they might open one up. Like I said, you've got it over in Germany. You've got it in Dubai. And obviously, if you just go to the Lego house in Billund, they have the machine super, super clear that you can do a full 360 of. So you can get yourself some exclusive bricks from there. But guys, that is it. I am done. So as always, thank you very much for watching. You lot take care. And if you catch the next one, ta-da.